Hello, I'm here. <laughs> it's Candy Michael, candystampers.com, and I'd love to welcome you here today. Thanks for joining me. I apologize for being a couple minutes late. I had some technical difficulties. Just update my Facebook page and things are a little bit different. <laughs> Why I thought to do that right before I went live, I'll never know. But anyway, on to some fun stamping projects. Thanks again for being here. I have um, a couple of really fun cards to show share with you, and I'm using the masking tape technique. So if you haven't seen that yet, um, I'm really excited to share that with you. So you can use um, any kind of masking tape. I like the blue tape because it's not as sticky. Um, you can also use washi tape. And there are some washi tapes on the market that are a little bit thinner or wider, like narrower or wider. But um, any kind of masking tape will work. And this is a really, really fun technique. Hi, Dina. Hi, Nancy. Thanks for watching. I am super excited you guys are here. So let me get started. I have these cards are very simple because I'm really focusing on the technique itself. So the first one that I want to show you is using the uh, Happiest of Birthday stamp set. This one is on page 66 of our annual catalog. And I love the large fonts on here and thought it would be a fun way to showcase um, one of the cards. So let me show you what I made. But I'm going to change up the colors when I stamp with you. So I, of course, I always come up with my um, sample card because you wanna make sure it's gonna work before you go live, right? So this was the card I came up with and you'll notice that the texture on here is very spotty and that's the way it's supposed to be. But I did um, use the tape and I did not dab it off so it came out a little darker than I wanted. So I'll show you how I'm gonna change that up with a little bit uh, different colors. Still blue, of course, because you guys know me, I love the blue. So let me go ahead and just move some of these things out of my way so I can get started here. So I'm starting with the Misty Moonlight um, base cardstock, and I did cut this, it's 11 inches long by four and a, uh, four and a quarter wide and scored at five and a half. And then I have a piece of white that'll go on the inside. And that is four inches by five and a quarter. And this is going to be my inside piece. And then I have a piece of DSP, which I'm using our six by six designer series papers that you can get in any of the color combinations. So you can get the subtles, the neutrals, the in colors, um, and you'll get um, different designs that are in there. I can't remember off the top of my head how many, but anyways, you'll get the different designs. And so I found this design to work well because it had a little bit of white in there. On one of the cards, I was going to go with um, this pattern, but it just didn't have enough white. This made it kind of pop off. So let me just get started by gluing this on. And I can keep talking, of course. Can't necessarily chew gum and walk, but I can glue and talk. <laughs> and right now, I think that's what's important because you guys know me, I can talk a lot. But that's, what's up, that's what this is about. All right, so we have our little base here, and and this is just, like I said, a very simple, simple card, but I'm going to focus on the technique itself. So if you haven't done the masking tape technique, you, you will get a little inky when you do it, but that's what's fun about it, because we love playing with scissors and paper and ink, and why not get a little messy? So that's what I'm going to do. Let me grab this piece of paper here to put underneath so I have something I can stamp off on. Because if I keep messing this up, then it it just doesn't it just doesn't show well. 
<laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is move these pieces out of the way because knowing me, I'm going to knock them on the floor. All right, and let's set that this piece aside because I don't really need this right now. So I die cut out of the rectangle stitched triangle, um, triangles. Oh my God, these are rectangles. And I die cut out this piece. This is three inches by like four and three eighths. So that was the size that I used. And I am going to do my, so you could do this two different ways. You can stamp first or you can do the masking tape first. It really doesn't matter. When I was playing around, I did both. So let me use, I have another scrap over here. So let me show you just using the masking. No, 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 let's just do this. Let's just go for it. So my stamp is wishing you the happiest of birthdays. Again, I loved having the very large font on here and I thought it would work really well just to show you how to use um, this technique. This is the way I do it. I'm sure there's a lot of different tutorials, but this was just a fun, easy way. And, and I'll show you another card when I'm done with this that is also fun and easy. So because this is a large stamp, I better stand up. See if I can get that right about in the middle. Looks pretty good. And I hope all of you are having a wonderful day. By the way, all of these cards I'm making today are birthday cards. So just worked out that way. So we're going to call this our washi tape or masking tape birthday card live. That works for me. So the colors that I'm going to use are the balmy blue and the uh, Misty Moonlight. Hmm, that almost didn't want to come out. Mm, 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 misty Moonlight. And it is mm, 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 because it's blue, so I love it. So I'm gonna work with one color at a time, and the first one I'm gonna start with is going to be the middle color, and that's going to be my Misty Moonlight. So with this, I am going to simply... Hello, Polly, nice to see you, all the way from Colorado. Thanks for joining. So I just kind of eyeball this and go, hmm, I need about that big of a piece. Thanks, you guys, for being here. Okay, so I'm going to use this. And all I'm going to do, let me get this so that it's more in the middle here. Uh, move that out of the way, too. All right. So I'm simply going to just lay my tape over the ink pad and I'm going to just rub it on there and pull it off. And you can see that it's blotchy and it's meant to be that way. If you want, you can always go back and tap it in again. But if you like that, then you just leave it. Now I'm using a very dark color. So because I'm using a dark color, I'm going to just tap it off and literally can you see me do that here? Let me push it up. Um, I'm literally just rubbing it off on here because it's pretty dark. Then it's kind of like stamping off. And then you're just going to bring it up here and lay it right about where you want it. And I'm simply rubbing my finger over it. And then I'm going to pull that off. And now I have transferred the color from my masking tape onto my project. So the next color I'm going to use, I'm gonna use the balmy on the top and the bottom. So let's cover this one up. And this was really pretty using just two colors. The next project I'll use um, three colors. So again, I'm just going to take my piece of washi tape. Now this, balmy looks really dark when you first put it on. Maureen, nice to see you, Mo. Sorry, I just happened to look up, so I don't always know who's logged on, but thanks, guys. Okay, so on here, I'm going to simply take this and lay it right over the top, and I did not, like, 
t- like dab this off because it's dark, but it looks really cool. And because you can still see through the color, it'll it'll also dry a little differently. It's just really wet right now. Oops, I just rubbed my finger right into the ink pad, but that's all right. I have a wipe next to me, which is very important that you have because you do not want to get this ink and smear it. See that big glob right there? So I'm going to try to avoid, avoid the globs. And then just pull it off. Isn't that cool? Now I could redo the middle if I wanted it a little bit darker. But if it's too dark, it just looked funny. Like this one I did and I thought it was a little too dark. So when I made this one, I want it to be just a little bit lighter. But you can change up your colors. You can, you know, come up with a really cool color combination and just play. Just start, you know, you can take and just take a piece of blank paper even and just start putting the tape on. Now, I do, you can reuse this tape. Of course, I have a piece here that I can reuse. Um, you guys are going to laugh, but I have them all marked. And I have them, like, lined up on my <laughs> my trash liner because they'll just peel right off but you can reuse this tape you don't have to throw it away right away you can just keep reusing it so you could do more you could do less you can do like I did and just do two colors and hello Mary and so with that one I'm gonna use the moon again the misty moonlight. And let me show this again. So now I'm doing this without any stamping because you can do it both ways. And what's really fun is if you're going to be playing with this and you want, if you want, you could just make a bunch of backgrounds and then come back later and add in your words. La la la. Just rub across. Ooh, that's really dark. That's what I didn't want to do. But that's all right. We're just doing this for a show. So I should have actually tapped it off like I did on that one. Like this. <laughs> I love it when I make a mistake because it makes me show you exactly what I should have done. So I should have just rubbed it off and then added it on to my project. Like so. Okay. Now it's a little bit lighter. But it's, it is really fun. And if you don't mind getting inky and messy, oh, that's half of the fun. I'll tell you right there. Okay, so this is the one I wanted back. So let's go back to our balmy blue. Just rub it. And then I'm not going to what I called like stamp it off. I'm just going for it. The black ink underneath it, just pops right through there so it won't matter and you can kind of overlap you can do bright colors you can do soft colors just come up with your color combinations and make it all work all right let me wipe my fingers off and then stamp the word so I'm showing you how I did it both ways you can stamp first and then do your tape or you can tape and then do your words so with this, because it's a really large stamp, I like to use my ink pad this way. Then now, and I know this is just my sample because I know I have like stuff that I bumped up there, but I messed up on the other side. So there's always two sides to your paper. See, now that may be a little too dark for you, but, um, it's blue, so I love it. But look, let me show you how it dries. And now that is messy. Put that aside. But see, look, when I did the first one, it dries a lot, um, not as dark. It does lighten up. So, so lighten up. Lighten up your colors. So we can um, really d use any different colors. So this is the one I'm using. This other one was just my sample. So you can tape it first or you can stamp it first. Either way will work. 
Now let me move that out of the way and show you my card. So we have our piece, um, the designer series paper glued down. I did cut a piece of the Misty that's gonna go behind here. And hello, Paula. This is cut at three and an eighth by four and a half. So whatever size your rectangle is that you're using or your front white piece, just make this one a little bit larger. I tried to make it like an inch. inch. An eighth, oh my word, an eighth larger. You can make it a quarter larger if that's easier. This is just meant to be fun, not frustrating, and messy. Because I love messy. Dina White, you probably do this technique a lot because I know you love to paint and things like that. So I'm thinking you probably do these, this type of technique quite a bit. But look how cute. Now I'm going to take and pop those up. So let me just add some dimensionals. And guys, like I said, these are gonna be some pretty simple cards so that you can just see how the technique is done. Um, if you have like a drawer full of um, washi tape, which I still love washi tape, and I know we don't have any in our catalog anymore, but you can use washi tape the same. So make it work with whatever you have. I feel like I used the wrong color here, but that's what my ink pad says. So I'm going for it. Is that straight? Nope. It is not straight, but I'm going to straighten out, guys. I promise I'm going to straighten out. How's that? <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I I bought these um, new... In, well, they're the in colors from last year that are still going through one more year. And so it had the misty moonlight. And when I got them, I kind of thought, hmm, square um, gems. But when I was using this paper... And I, I just hadn't really played with it long enough. They just came in this last week. So everything that I've looked at hasn't really, this has not come to mind. But when I was looking at these, I thought, well, look at the design on the designer paper. They can go on this way. I don't know. Is that a diamond shape? But I thought, oh, Eureka, that works for me. So... The square gems work perfectly with this DSP and really on any project. But um, I, was very, I was very excited when I saw it and I said, that's going to be just perfect. So I just used three of the smaller ones to pop on there and just make a fun, simple card. You can add ribbon if you want to add ribbon, but um, that's our first masking tape card. Hope you like it. Let's finish the inside. So now that we got that technique down. So when I cut the designer paper, well, let me go back. When I cut the designer paper, it was set up like this because it's a six by six piece. So when I cut it at four and this went away and then cut the bottom off, I ended up with this little um, piece here, like a three quarter inch piece. So I am just going to put my white in the inside. I hope this is the right size. Yes, it is. It looked really large. But I'm sitting down and normally when I'm gluing and stamping, I'm standing. So, oh, Lord, Candy. I got too excited. There we go, nice and easy. And then you can just take that extra scrap don't throw it away. You know how we all love to hoard any of our scraps? Okay, maybe you don't, but I am definitely a designer series paper and cardstock hoarder. Any scraps, I have scrap drawers, envelopes, all that stuff. But this little piece was the perfect size to just put right there to add a little color to the inside of your card. And it just ties it all together. So that scrap, use it or... Toss it <laughs> or use it on another card. So this was one I did earlier 
um, I used the Coastal Cabana and the Pool Party, and they looked so similar that that's why I wanted to show you something that has a very different color tone to it and just using two. But I'll use this color combination on another card that's coming up next. So that's card number one. Let me move all my things out of the way and switch my ink pads. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I lost my mind for a moment. I did have words I wanted to stamp in here and I'm going to use the Misty uh, Moonlight ink because I do like to finish the card and again, was just so excited about the designer paper, designer series paper scrap fitting perfectly. But now I can add It's Your Day and bring that whole card together. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I love this. I really do. And today was just another one of those days that I had it all ready to go. And like I said, I had just updated, which was crazy why I did it. I don't know. My Facebook page, because it said there was a little update. And then I couldn't find how to start my life, which was crazy, but crazy, but true. Okay, guys, the next card I'm super excited to show you because it's something a little bit different, but it is a fairly easy card as well. It is an easy card. I shouldn't even say fairly. It's an easy card. So again, I'm using my Misty. I was trying to stay with the same color so I didn't have to have a ton of colors on the table. And I've got my Misty background. This is eight and a half by... Um, five and a half. And I am then going to bring in a piece of black that will layer on top. And I'll put this first layer down. And then my next layers, I want to be careful because I want to add some ribbon and I don't, I'm, I'm not ready to glue it down until I add the ribbon. But this piece is just going to come right about there. Now I am going to use the Garden Birdhouses stamp set. This is so stinking cute. I I love it and I think mostly it's because of the font. And and the birdhouses of course are just adorable. And when COVID started, I really started watching the birds and feeding them. So I guess that's why it all came to me. But I, I do love this font. So we're gonna play with this one next and cap this up. So here is my front piece and I will have all the measurements on my website this evening because I am promising you that when I am done here, I'm uploading the video and I will be adding, photographing all my cards and adding them on there for you. So you guys can get all of the measurements. I think it goes like that. This is the hand penned paper and um, the designer series paper. I used some last week on my live, but this is a different piece and it is just gorgeous. I thought I had a bigger sheet of it. I do right here. And of course, everybody's eyes go to different things, but I just, I loved all the color combination on this particular piece. So that's what I went with. Very, very, very pretty. All right, let me grab a drink. Alrighty, all set. So this piece is going to layer on top. Nope. No, it's not. I am telling a story. This piece is going to layer onto here. And I can actually go ahead and glue that down. Now, normally I would tell you to do all your stamping first, but I'm going to be pretty confident. And I glued that paper on crooked. Oh, well. It's on. Um... I'm going to be pretty confident that my stamping goes okay. <laughs> and if not, you guys see me making my mistakes, but it's a it's a learning curve, right? We can all learn from from others' mistakes and not just our own. <laughs> okay, so this piece is going to glue onto here. But before I do that, I need to add my ribbon. But before I do that, I want to do my stamping. So I'm going to put this here so I don't forget and oops, put that there so I don't forget. And then I'm going to work on my stamping piece. So I love to use the black ink when I'm using my 
uh, washi, my washi tape, my masking tape. So let me grab a scrap here. I'm going to stamp one of the birdhouses, and this is just a very cute, you can use any of the birdhouses on there. This one's small, as you can see, but I thought it was very cute, and it worked perfectly. So I'm stamping this onto a scrap, and then I'm going to show you how I did the washi tape on this scrap piece of paper, cardstock. So let me cap this up. I know me, it'll be on my elbows. All right, so what I did was I took my masking tape, and obviously this is a very small area, but I took my masking tape. You want it to be long enough that you can hold your fingers on it and hold an end. So you don't wanna make it too small, and obviously this is gonna go a long way. So um, make sure it's long enough that you have a tail on either side to to hold on to. So with this, I actually wanted to cut my tape to get a couple different sizes on here. Because it's such a small piece, I don't need it to be very um, large, wide. And then this piece, I have a couple other ones over here cut already that I'm going to use, but I'm just gonna show you that I am cutting my tape to make it work for me. So on this, I used my, and it could be a little straighter, but it won't matter. But this is gonna go in the middle and I wanna use my Misty again, my Misty Moonlight in the center. It was a dark, dark enough color and I thought it would work well. So I want to get a little ink on there and then this one you do want to dab off because it is very dark. But let me show you if you dab it off twice and then try to do it again, you really, you can still do that, but you do run out of ink. So I'm going to just dab it off once. But I just wanted to show you. A little dab will do ya. Take some of that dark off of there and then put this any way you want. And you guys, if you're feeling like really, really creative, you could go in all different directions, <laughs> any way you want. This is your project and there's no right or wrong. So pretty cool stuff. All right, next I'm gonna use the, um, I did use Coastal Cabana also and Pool Party. And I'll tell you when I did it, it, these two colors, the Pool Party and Coastal Cabana, do look very similar. Very, very close in color, but that's all right. It worked for me, so that's what I want to use. So this one is going to be the Pool Party. And again, I need a place for my fingers to hold on to. So this one can go right about there. That's where it's stuck, so that's where it's going. See, just a little bit of color on there. It is so much fun. I really, really enjoy it. If you want more to cover the bottom, just a little dab, go back over it and add a little more to the bottom. So you can fill it in a little bit and take that line out too. So, you know, you can make this however, whatever the easiest way for you is to, to make it, that's how you're gonna do it. So with... This is the Coastal Cabana. So I have another piece that's kind of wide and I'm going to use this. I wonder if I had already used this. I did, I think when I made my first sample. So with the Coastal and the um, Pool Party being a lighter color, I can just go directly onto the birdhouse. Oh, look at that. And then I'm going to go over the top of it a little more so that I can get all of it. Isn't that cute? And if you really want, you can go back and get more color in there. That's what's cool is it's kind of like its own little stamp pad in a way or um, way to just put the paper, the color right onto your paper. So now with this, we have to do a little fussy cutting because this doesn't have a die, but you know, I'm, I'm usually not a big fan of fussy cutting, but when it's small like this, I don't mind. 
I don't mind. And I do. I know a lot of people find it very um, relaxing to sit and cut. I don't know. I never, I think I just never really had all the patience. But this is very small. So I can handle this. This I can do. And then I'm going to even up this side and this side right under our little roof line. Isn't this a cute house? I think any bird would be very happy to live in the Coastal Cabana Misty Moonlight house. It could be their home away from home. But see how, how interesting the coastal and the pool party look very similar? But that's all right. Those colors are in this uh, paper. So it all looks cute. All right, so from here, and they will lighten up a little bit too, like I said. Okay, so from here, I'm going to go ahead and I have a little pole for the birdhouse that I wanted to add in to our, I don't want it to be too long, but I want to add it on to the um, card. So this is going to actually cover quite a bit. But my bow's going to go right about here. So I'm going to bring that right up. Right up there. And I don't care if it's too long. I just don't want it to be... Um, I don't want it sticking all the way out. So that's why I did not do the whole thing. Because this is going to cover. And it has a little pole it's standing on. Like I said, this is a very cute stamp set. Okay, next, next, let me do my stamping for my words. I chose to use the birthday wishes stamp and again, love the font. Had to go with it. So with this, I'm going to just kind of eyeball where that birdhouse goes and then I'll know where my words can go. So we have stamp that off looks good looking good and then this um i did stamp the other one in black but you know what i am going to do it in black because i think it's going to go better with my finishing touch oops wrong thing my finishing piece so let's go ahead and do i'm going to do the words in black change my mind because I can. That's what they say, right? Girls can change your mind. So let's put this right about there. That looks pretty good, don't you think? <laughs> oh, I think so. I think so. I should just leave this open because I'm going to use it like 20 more times. Okay. Now I have the cutest little bird that I'm going to add in here as well. Stamp that off. And then right over the S, I have to pull it up closer so I can see. Look, there's a little bird. It flew onto our birthday wishes. I thought that was adorable. All right, next we have our... No, that's all we want to do now. So what I need to do is put my ribbon on and get this card glued down so we can finish gluing the rest of it on because I'm not done. I have another surprise that goes with this card. So the ribbon is just going to, I simply did this because it's very sheer. So I'm going to just tape it around the back right up to the top of the designer paper. It worked out better. Um, some, some of the ribbons, of course, you can put it wherever you want, but with this, I like to use scotch tape to secure it down. Oh my word, I can't get it off my finger. There we go. Got one side done, that only took five minutes. That's not bad. <laughs> and the other side, and there we go. How cute is that? So I like to save on the ribbon and not use it back here. And then just simply, tie it or uh, cut off a smaller piece, pull it underneath and tie a knot. You can make a bow if you want, but I love simple knots. And then you can fuss with the ribbon. 
okay, now we have to put our birdhouse on. But I was thinking, because this was a cute birdhouse, how fun would this be? And this will get glued down flat. How fun would it be to add a little more to it? So I have this giant craft drawer. I bet all of you do too. Do you have a craft drawer that's just full of like little pom-poms and um, I don't know, wooden like clothes pins and things like that. Well, anyway, I have one of those and I'm, I'm guessing you do too. And in there I have, I'll show you. I'm going to take this. I'm going to poke a little hole down here in hopes that I don't poke it through my finger. So far, so good. I didn't bring band-aids. <laughs> And then I'm going to add, let's see which one's smaller, this one, this one maybe. Then guess what? I'm going to add a little feather. I have all these feathers in my drawer. So you can take and just pull this back however you want. And then I'm taping it onto the back here. And then this is going to sit like so. Isn't that cute? You can add a little feather to your birdhouse. So I have this drawer, as I was saying, full of odds and end crafty things. And in there, I have some feathers. So I said to myself, self, how cute would that be to add some fe a feather onto that cute little birdhouse? And I agreed with myself. So here I am. I'm going to pop this up, put a couple of dimensionals, dun, 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 dun. and I hope you guys are leaving me some comments because I'm not looking up to see, but I will be in a little bit. And then you can just pop up your little birdhouse, and now you have some birthday wishes, and you've got your masking tape technique, but that little bird needs a little color. So I brought over the light, Daffodil Delight blend, and that color is actually in this DSP as well, in this designer paper. So there's my cute little bird, bird card. Now let's do the inside because that was way too much fun. So now we wanna do the inside. So I have another piece of the white, and again, I'll have all the measurements for you when I'm, I have them written out but there were just too many pieces to, to walk through it. So I will post it for those of you that want to see. So here I'm going to stamp and I'm turning it sideways so I can see what I'm doing. Um, but I'm gonna stamp another little pole inside and hang a birdhouse on it or put a birdhouse on it. So I grabbed one of the other birdhouses and we're gonna ink that up in black and just stamp it right on here. I am not going to washi tape or anything, but I just thought this was such a darling stamp set that I just needed to keep, keep working with it. So we have some words, and I'm making sure they're the right way up, which I believe they are. Hope each moment of your day is as special as you are. That is so sweet. Anybody would love getting this card. So with my Coastal Cabana ink, just to stay with the theme, I didn't want to add another color, I'm going to add a little bit of grass because I can. And it's in the bottom of the, um, or it's in the, on the bottom of this card, but this is also in our little stamp set. Isn't that darling? Oh my gosh, I hope you guys are loving this as much as I do. It's so much fun when we get to create and be silly and add little feathers and things like that, but just a little added touch. And then this will be the inside piece. We're just going to simply glue that down and hopefully not put my finger in the glue. And I did make this the same size as the front. Anytime if I do a class and the measurements are different, I don't want people making a mistake and or myself and stamping the wrong piece. So I just made it the same size as the white to make that a little more simplified. Isn't that cute? 
Okay, one more card. And I wanted to grab, let me grab this piece really quick. Sorry about that. I just needed to die cut one more piece because I used it for my sample. I forgot to cut another one. But it's all good because everything is right here. All right, so the next one is gonna be out of this color combo. <laughs> and I'm going with the new um, polished pink. So ouch, I'll be using some polished pink ink and more black. So this stamp set I'm using, you guys, I love these big fonts. This is gonna be really, really, cute just to make a simple card and again this is the only stamp set I'm using on here so it's it's gonna go nice and easy so what I'm gonna do is add the um happy I have a block which side there we go candy good job and this is my last card but I was gonna have it done and I just didn't have time to actually finish it. So I'm finishing it here with you guys. But everything's cut and ready to go. So we're going to get our happy on. Get your happy on, everybody. Mine is. My happy's on. And we're going to go ahead and stamp. See if I'm straight. It's so fun when you've got... I don't want to stick my head in the camera, so I'm trying to keep it away. And then I can't see, I can't see what I'm doing. But it's cool. I've got this. And then we've got a happy birthday. So we'll put that on here. Drop that down. And we're gonna get, we are going to get our birthday on here. Ooh, that looks nice. Nice and juicy. Right in the middle. Sometimes you have to put a little extra pressure on there. And then we'll get our birthday. Isn't that a pretty font? Oh, I'm so excited. Stamping Up really, really has some beautiful fonts in this catalog. And I know many of us have been asking for a long time for some different fonts, and they hit it. They got it. Love it. So with this one, I'm going to go with the polished pink. And what's really cool about this card, oh, and here's another tip. If you have trouble opening these because they're tight, if you press here, as I say, oh, there we go. Nope. <laughs> well, it worked a second ago. But normally, if you press there, it'll pop. <laughs> or not. <laughs> but anyway, just give it a try. <laughs> I did. Okay, so I'm going to put this polished pink onto my full piece of um, tape. I don't have to cut any part of it at all. And let's just peel it off. And I'm gonna make it long because I wanna be able to make sure that I go across the entire piece of cardstock. So you guys, I cannot wait to hear back from you as to what kind of projects you're gonna make. You could do this with scrapbook cards, scrapbook um, pieces as well. And I'm going directly on here, even though it's dark, it is so pretty. And I normally am not like a real pink girl, pinky, but um, this is just a really, very, very happy. It's a happy pink, and I think that's what I love about it. Some of them are very soft, but this is just a very happy pink. Again, you can reuse your tape over and over and over, so you don't have to throw it away as soon as it's done. Just set it on something, not your like laminate table like I've done, and then you rip your table apart, but put it on um, something that you might have, like even like a plastic case or one of your um, your stamp set even. You could set it on the side somehow, So, but watch, because you don't want to tear that plastic off. Or a block. 
you can set them on your blocks and then that way you can just pick them up and keep going. Okay, almost done. Now we have this. I have taken a piece of cardstock and I have um, cut it. Again, the measurements will be online because I don't remember what the measurement was. And I wrote them down and left them across the room. But let's go ahead and glue this on. And we are almost done. Thank you for tuning in. I'm so excited. This is just such a cute and very, very cheerful card. You could make this a get well if you need to. But in this font, it actually has a hello, a thanks, and the happy birthdays. So if you love this font... You can grab that and I do have a host code. I printed it off and it's across the room on my printer. <laughs> but I do have it here. I was going to set it up and make it all, but that's all right. Um, candystampers.com is my website and you can check it out after I'm done with my live today because I will have the measurements on there tonight. So again, I'm using some more designer series paper. You guys, this is such great paper because it's all of our colors. So it coordinates with the inks and the cardstock and everything. So it makes making simple cards very simple. It really does. Just grab a piece of that DSP and line it all up together. So I was just going to make this a quarter sheet with, oh, I, I touched it and it moved. A quarter sheet with um, the designer paper and then I'm gonna glue this down so it'll flap open on the top there kind of a fun little fold for mm -hmm. you and again just a very happy card look how cute and then I have a piece that I cut for the inside again I did use the stitched um, rectangle dies this is these are great or you could just cut a piece you don't have to have the dies but it works really nicely with that and then I cut a piece for the inside and you can write your your little note that you want to send birthday wishes to anybody you can certainly send them this way so what do you think tell me have you tried the washi tape okay I have questions have you tried this washi tape technique yet yes or no and just say, yes, I've tried this technique. Or, and or, um, will you try this technique now that you've seen it if you haven't done it? So I want to know if you are going to try it or if, you, um, if you've already done it. Okay, so the last I wanna do is just pop a little flower on here somewhere. Where do we want a flower? Um, I could do a couple little ones. What do you think, a little purple? Maybe I'll stick with the pink. I'm gonna go monochromatic and keep the pink. So let's add the big one down here. And it's almost done, isn't this cute? Let me get these little guys. Okay, I'm gonna be daring. I'm gonna do this with a little dab. A little dab will do ya. Here we go. Yes, and one more. Right about there. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys think I can make this? I'm gonna drop it on. I'm gonna hold my breath. But I think it's working. There's another one. These are the cutest stinking flowers. Oh my goodness. If you have not seen these in the catalog, you are going to just love them. There we go. There we go. And we have that one on a glue dot. So I hope you love my cards today. I am so excited and was very, very happy to make them for you. Again, I use the same DSP on these. But, um, and then where is my little birdhouse? Here was one I did before, but they're all the same. 
Thank you so much for joining me. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Get your masking tape out and get some fun stamps and some fun ink colors. You can order through me from candystampers.com. This is June's host code. And guys, this Thursday, which is tomorrow, is going to be free shipping from Stamping Up. So I would love for you to put some orders in with me. I will send you little goodies for anybody who does. And I hope you have an awesome day and the rest of your week. Thank you for stopping by and seeing me today. Go ahead and go out and get inky. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Have a good day. Bye.